Hey what's up guys this is Kamlesh and today I'm going to be teaching you guys as on how to set up your Belkin N300 ADSL Plus to router with your MTNL internet connection. I've already done the unboxing of this particular router to check out the unboxing video please click on the link in the description. So the first thing which you should do after unboxing the router is connecting the power cable and the RJ11 telephone cable to the router. Once you have done that just turn on your router and after that search for your router in the networks on your desktop or your laptop the default name for your router is the Belkin 1E5 this is the default name click on it and click connect it will prompt you to enter the password the password will be provided to you along with your router itself so just enter the password and click connect it should connect automatically So uh, as it's connected now, what you're going to want to do over here is open your web browser, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, whatever browser you're using. And in the address bar, enter the IP address. I don't know what's wrong with it. Yeah. Enter the IP address. The default IP address is going to be 192.168.2.1 this is the default IP address enter it and click enter once you have done that you will be redirected to a page this is the routers page the username the default username will be admin and the password the default password will be admin as well click on login and you will be redirected to your routers page this is your router page. here you don't want to mess around with any of these settings just go and click on the wizard the first option over here wizard setting just click on it and uh, click on the next option over here here also you don't have to mess around any of the settings just go ahead and change the time zone over here whatever the time zone you are living in or you want and click next once you have done that, this is the main step and process in this video. Over here you want to enter the country. The country is going to be India obviously because we are using a MTNL connection. And the service provider is going to be other. And the protocol is going to be PPOE. And the connection tab is going to be the LLC and enter the VPI 0 and the VCI 32 so once you have done that the username and the password yeah here's the trick the username and the password is in the bill the telephone bill MTNL telephone bill itself so this is how the telephone bill looks like the MTNL telephone bill and here at the left hand side corner is your telephone bill this is going to be your username the telephone number is going to be your username and the CA number is going to be password so just enter it on the username section and the password let's say it's the username plus your telephone number and the password confirm the password so once you have done this just click on the next option over here and this is your wireless setting here you again don't want to mess around with any of the settings ex except the SSID you want to change the SSID to your name or something which you can easily identify your router with let's say I'll keep my SSID to my name Kamlesh and the password also in order to access your router you need to enter a password the password uh, let's say okay, I'm keeping this as my password and next and, and just click on the finish settings so option over here just click on it and you're done once you have clicked on it your internet connection should connect automatically see as soon as you click on finish 
router gets disconnected and you need to connect it again remember you have changed your passwords the username password of your router itself so you need to insert the new username and the password the username is gonna be Kamlesh obviously because I have changed it see the username is Kamlesh click on it and you need to enter the new password which is gonna be Kamlesh123 once you have done that your connection should be connected and as you can see let me show you guys the web page that it's connected yeah see it's connected again to your internet it's so simple anyone can do it these are the basic setting for most of the uh, routers and uh, that will be it guys thanks for watching any doubts any comments any questions post in the comment section below and make sure to help you guys out that will be it guys thanks for watching